Yeah. Can't beat a bit of shite. I'm full of cold. It's fucking cold, right? I've had it for about two and a half months. Just when I think it's going away and it's going to leave me alone. It comes back with a vengeance. And of course, with me walking to work and back, and it's only five minutes over the road, the weather's getting worse and worse and worse. It'll be fucking snowdrifts before we know it. And then I will be in trouble. I wouldn't care. <laughs> I've got an abundance of jackets and coats, as you probably know. But I can't remember my locker number at work. So I've got nowhere to put them. So I can't wear a coat to work. Anyway, I've got a package today. Yep. Yeah. Fucking postman left it behind the fucking recycling bin, didn't he? I didn't even tick any boxes so he could do that. Never mind. Right, I've got a feeling I know what this is. That's a good thing about having a job with good pay. I just, I enjoy buying everything in sight. Something catches me eye online. Oh, I love that. That's nice. I've just emailed these yesterday. Where's me parcel, you bastards? It's overdue. And it says it'll be between 6 and 20 work and business days or something. And here it is when I get in from work. <coughs> I'm not sure if that's irritating my fucking cough even more. I bet these are nothing like the look online. Well, there they are. Yep. Another pair of cowboy boots. I've got two pairs now. I wonder if they fit. <laughs> what? What is the point in having a zip there? I never knew they had a zip. What's the point in that? Doesn't even go all the way up to the top. Cowboy boots aren't supposed to have fucking zips. That's ridiculous. Uh, they're not as good as me. The ones I've had for 26 years or something or whatever. No, I got them in 1995, so that's... 28 years, isn't it? Never mind. Right now, to see if they fit. So I've just bought a load of new jeans as well, you know. Like you see, if you've got money, you might as well spend it. <laughs> you can't take it to the grave with you, can you? Right then, these better fit, because they've been shipped from America. And you know the sizes can vary. They don't look anything like us. They looked online. Oh well. Here goes. Here goes nothing. What the fuck? What did I put this shit in, inside for? Right. 
I should have got one with a star on the front. Who's seen that film, Blind Terror? And somebody splashes his cowboy boots. <laughs> so he kills the whole family in revenge. <laughs> Yeah, well, the fit. Ah, let's see how they feel when I walk in them. Incidentally, why is there no black mark on me camera now? Sometimes it's there, sometimes it fucking isn't. What's going on with that? Right then, I'm going to go to the kitchen to get myself a can out of the fridge. See how comfortable they are. Right, I won't be long. Fucking hell. <laughs> I feel a foot taller than these. Wait, they're pretty comfortable. Um, I can't be a bit German. That's better medicine than that shit. I'll be back to my old self in no time at all. See, here's um, the boots I was talking about. Now them I've had since 1995. Loblin, made in Venezuela, a socialist country. Now they were 120 pound back then. And they're really thick and they're really padded. But these, I think they're pretty lightweight and flimsy in comparison, to be honest with you. Yeah, you see boots online and they look so much better, don't they? I mean, compare it. Compare them, see? Yep. The heel on them is considerably bigger, well, taller, <laughs> but, yeah, see what I mean, that's strange, they look like fucking women's boots, em, I assure you, they are not, they are gentlemen's boots, <gasps> am I allowed to say that, <gasps> well, I'm not a hundred percent over the moon with them, but they're different. Ah well, I could always send them back if I get bored of them. Oh God Almighty! See you later.